All right, man, it is fucking pouring out there right now. Oh, my God. It's like I can't even see out my damn window. But that's not what this is about. This is a video game vlog. And no, I know, man. Y'all like, well, goddamn, this bitch, she just gave up on video games. I did not give up on video games. I am still waiting for shit to go around in her game universe because, yet again, there's still nothing going on in her universe. And, again, we're sitting somewhere sad. Those of us who love horror games, we just sitting somewhere sad. Now, granted, there were some spl some smatterings of things. A couple of people that I, I like watching, um, uh, John Wolf, Mr. Craven, Girl Gamer Gab, and somebody's calling my phone. Hang on. Sorry I had to take that, and I forgot what my damn train of thought was. I just, that train got derailed and exploded, and all the passengers on it died horrible screaming deaths. I think I was talking about that there was still nothing going around in the horror universe. But either way, we were all, we are all still fucked up. But, like, a couple of people I was watching, that's where I was. Um, Girl Gamer Gab, Mr. Craven, uh, John Wolf, they were all playing, um... I'm looking at YouTube now and it's saying first winter, um, first winter with Girl Gamer Gab. And I know John Wolf played that too. Um, that was good. That was kind of interesting. It was good. Um, but nothing where it was like, I was like this or anything. So we still waiting. We just waiting. And that's where we're stuck at. So, but I have three things I wanted to talk to you about today for Video Game Land. We gonna start with Paracusia, cause I'm still looking at that, and that was with Girl Gamer. I just finished watching her play, and it's um, it's kind of like like watching Silent Hill, like the original. I don't mean like fucking Silent Hill, where like it was like you going in a fucking looping hallway. I'm, I swear to God, I'm so sick of that shit. So it was refreshing to see not only something that looked like a classic Silent Hill game, it had like the, that, that like, like icky, not icky in a bad way, but icky like, ew, you don't know what's around a corner, you don't know what something's going to jump in your face. It was refreshing to see something like that instead of like, oh, I'm going to go through this hall 400,000 times with no point of reference as to why. We're going through a, a fucking hallway like 800,000 different times. Like, when you found out you were going through like some Silent Hill shit, that, all that looping hallway made sense. But the way people do that, because they're just so starved for something like that, they do it wrong. And it's just like, we just looping through a hallway for no good fucking reason. And it just, it just makes me want to hurt people <laughs> like a lot this was a mop like just mop stop making these <laughs> unless you're gonna make it have some kind of like point or you know it's gonna go somewhere interesting that was the thing about the silent hills thing it was interesting just looping through a hallway don't make shit interesting but this paracusia i found their twitter um it's called, uh, their Twitter is at Dark Fo Darknet Foxes. And this is what, ah, uh, shit, I forget. I know, we are so low tech, but y'all gonna be okay. So, <laughs> that's what it looked like, pure QC. They, I just started following them, too. Um, and that was, it was, like, it was really, really good to see a Silent Hill-esque PS1 generation Silent Hill game where you're just a lone man running around a movie theater. And it's not for lack of having monsters. It has a couple of monsters in it. And the one time the monster came out of no fucking place. And I was like, oh! And my poor dog was all like, oh my god, mommy, come on now. Because she gets all upset when I start jumping and squealing. So, that was looking real, real, real good. The demo is going around. And hang on. I just lost their, their Twitter page, but not me. I'm talking about them. Darknet Foxes, um, they have, their shit is on itch.io, darknetfoxes.itch.io. Then they have a darknetfoxes.tumblr.com. So I guess I'll put the links in the description. I really don't feel like it. So, but... You can try to find it. I mean, Darknet Foxes 
or at Darknet Foxes on Twitter, and then you can find it from there. I'm being lazy today. I ain't, I don't feel like applying myself right now because my life is in shambles. So, with that being said, too, let me also talk about um, House of Les, which I realized I I watched um Darkman Games um. Like, they contacted me, I told y'all, after the whole, um, Grave Prosperity deal. And I watched his, I'm actually now subscribed to his, his YouTube account. And I'm also subscribed to House of Valise, because it's not Valise. I like House of Valise better. I don't know, it's just something about House of Valise that sounds like, like, gritty. Valise sounds too nice. It sounds like you're gonna come in and have tea and have a good time. No, I like Valise, because they sound like you getting punched and fucked up. So... <laughs> I got fucked up in House of Valise. <laughs> like, you don't get fucked up in House of Valise. You come in, you talk to people, you pet their little frou dog, and you keep it moving. No, you go to House of Valise and you get fucked up. Like, somebody just come in, they fucking punch you right in the face. Like, I just walked in here. What the fuck? Like, you just whenever you walk in the House of Valise, you get fucked up. So, <laughs> but I have subscribed to them on, um... Facebook. I had to go to Facebook for this one. Who? I'm trying not to mess with Facebook like that no more, y'all. And I wanted to f- dig and find this. Hold up. Oh, God damn it. Let me dig and find this. I'm sorry to keep pausing. Let me find this. Hold up. All right, so I had to go through a little bit to find that. But, um, who? I'm looking at this one image right now. It is so fucked up, y'all. It's just so fucked up. <sighs> he promised me that it was going to get real fucked up. The like House of Velez was going to get real horrifying. I'm like, it was already horrifying. I was already, look, <laughs> it had been a very long time since I watched something. It was actually afraid of the dark. I mean, legit afraid to be in a dark space after I watched it. It had been a long ass time since I had any of that go down until I fucking fucked with House of Velez and it was just, I was all shades of fucked up off of House of Velez. So, look if, let me see if, I know we are low tech and low budget here. You want to deal with it. If you want to go see, go find House of Velez on goddamn Facebook because you want support from me, you ain't getting it. I'm sorry. But, this is the shit that I saw. You see this? It's a head with chains coming out of it. And the girl is all fucked up. You can tell. Oh, wrong way. She is all fucked up. Phone, stop moving. Finger move. There you go. She, you can tell she's all fucked up. Look at this bitch. She is holding her side like I got fucked up on some nonsense. And I don't even know where to turn now. So, yeah. That's just a sampling of the stuff that he's been putting on Facebook. And I've just been left with, like, why am I looking at this? Why is my life like this right now? And then he had this whole situation going on. I don't know what this situation is, but this is not a good situation. You see this? She don't, how are you going to the bathroom like this? I'm going to be fucked up. I'm, he did. He was like, you thought the first one was horrifying. I'm like, I don't know, man. I can't. I can't. Because what's going to happen is what always happens. I'm going to have low expectations. I was like, okay, maybe he's just giving me a line. Because people like to feed I try my mind. And I go into, I buy into him hook, line, and sinker. But then again, when I think about it, I got fucked up on that first game. So, but what's going to happen is. This is going to come out, House of Liz 2, part 2, is going to come out when my husband is on a business trip. And I'm going to end up fucked up and real scared of the dark. And this is going to be me and this dog in, or that's on my bed right now. She sleep. She, she don't even bother with me. I'm going to be scared somewhere, like, praying that I'm going to live through the night because I'm scared of the dark. Because I didn't watch some shit that frightened me. And there, it's just going to be sad. So... It's good to see that he's working on that. I, I'm like, I need some good ass horror in my life. Because it's still not happening. Which brings me to sunny point number three. Now, remember, I think, last video game vlog, uh, before the Great Prosperity one, it was, it was something. Um, where I was like, quote, I ain't got no time for no dead of war. 
Well, guess whose dumb ass made time for some dead war? I did. I was in a mood yesterday. I am still in a mood right now, but I'm covering it really well. So I was in a mood yesterday. So I did not buy. I rented. I was surprised. Because the last time I tried to rent some shit from Redbox, I got fucking played. And it was somebody photocopied the CD and stuck it in the red box thing and stole the disc. I was so pissed off. This is when Bloodborne was going around. And I wish I could have played it because it would not It would have kept me from buying it because I had no business buying that game. I can't get off the first fucking board and leave me alone, I know. So, with that being said, I got a chance to rent God of War. I was at the drugstore yesterday and I was like, oh, dead box, do y'all have dead of war? Because if y'all have it, I guess I'll go and rent it. They had it. So, of course, when it came out of the dead red box, I call it dead box. Of course, when it came out of the dead box, I just opened the shit up to make sure I wasn't going to get played. And it was there. And I was like, oh, shit. Let's go home and play it. So, I went home and I played it. And I wasn't, I wasn't, I was surprised. I wasn't terrible at it. I died once on the first board. And not even fighting that stranger dude. I died getting fucked up on that first mini boss battle. Um, whatever that giant thing was with the boulder, because I just didn't know what the fuck I was doing, and I got fucked up. And I had almost killed him. That was the fucked up part. I had been trying to hit him so hard that I fucked up and got killed. <laughs> so, and then I replayed it, and then I made it through that part, and I was like, oh, cool. I didn't get all fucked up this time. And I was about to, because my thing, it was all boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to die again, but thankfully I ain't die. So... And then I fought this stranger. Fighting this stranger just pissed me off. I was just so angry fighting him. Because I had to fight that motherfucker three times with him talking shit. And I was surprised I could, like, block and stuff. Because you got that shield and you can block. I was surprised I was doing the block right. It was like he would come up and it'd be, I'd be like, block. And I did not die fighting that dude. I am so proud of myself for that. So I am currently on part. It, whatever that part is after that part, that's where I'm at. And, like, I had to open some bridge, and that took five minutes because I'm, like, an idiot and can't figure out basic fucking puzzles, apparently. But I figured it out, and after I got done with that puzzle, I was like, you know what? I, I, I like, played for, like, five minutes. I was like, you know what? This puzzle took five minutes of my life that I wasn't trying to deal with. And, excuse me, I had the extra added joy of a fucking um, climbing mechanics, and... I don't like climbing mechanics. As I used to say when I used to have my podcast, I don't like climbing mechanics because somebody will fall to their death and it's going to be all my fault and then I'm going to be sitting there like, the fuck? Because I have done climbing mechanics and guess and guess what the fuck happens every fucking time without fail. I fuck up, fall to my death, and be sitting there like, this is why I don't like climbing mechanics. I am horrible, horrible at climbing mechanics. And I don't fucking like climbing mechanics because, again, People get fucked up, and then I'm sitting here like, oh, fucking well. So, the climbing mechanics had me fucked up. Um, granted, nobody fell to their death, but I know that's going to happen at some point, and I'm going to be screaming, because I am I can rent. I took um, the rental out for a week. Don't ask me why, because I can already feel myself with the interest in this waning. Then, too, it's still my issues with Kratos. Still angry. Still bitter and mad about shit. It's like, boyfriend, you wouldn't be all bitter and angry if you hadn't went on a marauding spree and killed your wife and daughter. If you had just listened to your inner instincts, you wouldn't have went down that road. You can't even be mad at Aerie. Even, even if he, let's just say Aerie scammed him some kind of way. You still can't be mad at Aerie's. Because when you were going to die, you were like, oh, Aerie's, please save me because I don't want to die all ugly. Then who fault is that? You should have just taken the death and dealt with your problems. But no, you had to go run off, become the God of War, lose the God of War title, go back to being the God of War, then some other shit happens, because I played the demo on that one and did not, and, and like, I watched it, but I was just like, I don't even care about this no more. And now we're at Dad of War, where you are calling your son boy, and you like, let's go boy, because I got shit to do. So... It is good. It is interesting. I am not as bad at it as I thought I would be because I was really expecting a fucking fiasco because I am an old lady and my hand-eye coordination is fucked now. I'm, I was surprised. Like I said, when I was fighting a stranger, I was surprised I didn't get fucked up as bad as I thought I would. So, 
And no, I'm not live streaming it because it's embarrassing. <laughs> the fact that it took me five to ten minutes, I think it took me ten minutes to figure out a basic fucking puzzle is just, a sh it's just shameful. I'm not... You might as well just have that lady ringing the shame bell behind me. And I'm not reliving that no more. So, we not live streaming that. We wanted to just, excuse me. Oh, I'm burping a lot. <clears throat> well, you just going to live with me telling you about it. But like I said, I can feel my interest already waning. So, I'll play it. I'll, I'll get my, my $7 worth, I guess. I feel like I got my $7 worth of hell. Because I'm not going to finish that. That's like a game it would take me literally years to finish. They'd be on like Kratos' son would be doing some shit after this. By the time I'm done. So, oh well. So, that is all I have for now for Video Game Land. And we just going to keep praying for some goodness to come around. Because it's just, I don't even know right now. So, 